Guys, we're growing up with the Warriors, and today we are taking a surf class here in Raglan with the Raglan yes. Surf School. It's gonna be so much fun. Yes. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five on a mission to visit every country in the world. During the pandemic, we were actually happily stuck in New Zealand and we were able to partner with some amazing attractions in the Waikato Waitamo area. You may have heard of it because of movies like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, from amazing scenery, movie sets, rappelling down rocks to discovering some of their caves, and even surfing in the ocean. We invite you to discover this fascinating part of New Zealand and come along with us for an epic adventure. What are we doing today, girls? <laughs> so Raglan is super well known for surfing. We haven't surfed here yet and the last time we were here everyone looked like professionals. Something that's so unique to Raglan is this huge long coastal area with a left wave break that goes for 300 meters so it's the longest one in the world. Surfers from everywhere come to enjoy this one wave. But yeah, no, we're not that good. So we stick to the baby waves. We literally picked the perfect day for surfing. The waves aren't too crazy. It's beautiful skies and we can see the moon all at once. Pretty phenomenal. Here goes Julia. amazing experience we're having here. This teacher is so helpful and so good. First of all, a big special thanks to Surfshark for supporting our travels and sponsoring this video. Surfshark is an amazing VPN that you can use to make all of your information that is online and when you're on uh, wireless connections, whether it's airports or just hotels or anything, keeps it safe and secure. So it's kind of like putting a mask on top of what your information is so that people that are there trying to hack in can't get access to that information. It's also a really cool way to access movies or content or sites that you might need to get access to from back home that are currently blocked in the country that you're traveling to. So we use that all the time to access different movies and TV shows that we don't have accessible on or in the country that we're traveling in. Certain countries offer more movies and TV selections on Netflix, like Canada is pretty good for that. And also we like to watch movies in different languages, so it's fun to access different countries' movies. So we're getting an exclusive deal for you guys. You get three months free, plus they have a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no harm in trying it out. So visit our link below, we're putting the link below, and enter the coupon code GUWB to get your three months free. Now let's get back to the video. So we just finished up with Raglan Surf School. We had an amazing time. Yeah. The waves were nice and small, so it was good for us to practice again, you know? Yeah, get in the groove because it's been a while. Our next stop is gonna be to go find some yummalicious lunch yes. that'll give us some, some good water. energy. Mm, we need energy for our next activity, yeah. don't we? So what's really nice about Raglan is that there's so many cafes to choose from and they're all uniquely different. Then we walked along the streets of Raglan, which was really cool to see all the different shops and cafes. We found this one place selling meat pies, which are typical from New Zealand. They were really good. Next up, we're doing an epic adventure with Raglan Rock. 
All right, we ready to rock and roll, girls? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to rock and roll, you? Yes. We got in the car and we headed towards Mount Koronoi, which is a dormant volcano that erupted over two million years ago. It created all these lava flows and channels, one of which we're going to be cascading down today. When you get to the bottom, all you're doing is unhooking it. She started off, we learned the ropes and learned about some of their native plants. There's no crocodiles, so we're good to go. Ah, uh, it feels good to get in the water. Wow. You guys in the Amazon? Yeah, it feels like it. Okay, army crawl This through. is gonna be so All cool. Right. We have to crawl through there. That's our first thing. We're, We're crawling through a tunnel! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> there goes Chloe. This is crazy. This is only the beginning. All right, go ahead, Julia. Let's see you go through. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> oh, you're going on your hands and knees too. <laughs> this is flax. So he said to hold on to the flax as we go through. It's really strong because it's really slippery in here. And he reckons we're going to fall about five times each. She did? What are your spots so far, Julia? This is so cool. Like, you know how you always want to explore the Amazon or something? Well, this is similar. <laughs> Except for there's no poisonous nope. bugs, no poisonous Nothing snakes. Nothing that can harm you. Only no eels. crocodiles. Only eels. So this is actually where a volcano blew up, and these are the lava streams it made. So we're basically walking through dried up lava. Good job, Chloe! Okay, are you ready? <laughs> wow, look at him. What? We're curious. Leave a comment if you're an adventurer, if you love thrill seeking and cascading and such, or if you prefer watching from the sidelines. All right, we've got Chloe coming down next. She's rappelling down. She's going to come all the way down and flop into the pool. This is like every time I do an experience that I'm like, this is another like top of my list in New Zealand. I just can't believe how many cool and epic things there are to do in this country. We got Angelique coming down the canyon. We took a little break and had some kawa kawa tea. And it was actually like right from the plant right beside us. A bit earthy, peppery. Earthy, minty, peppery. So really lean back and hold that rope. I definitely feel like we're more of a, an adventure family with all these crazy adventures we're doing. Yep. Yep. The girl's pretty crazy. The girls like to shop and stuff like we normally do, but we're more into this than heading up to shopping malls. And that's what we're about to do. Here she goes. And now it's my turn. So we would have been down in the valley and you can see it kind of loops around and then it goes all the way out to the harbor over there in a the distance. All right, girls, what did you think of this? That was incredible, I loved it. Pretty epic. Yeah, very epic. So much fun. Those boys just jumped off the little bridge and they're floating down. Really fast. So we found this really cool place to come have dinner. It's basically a wharf and uh, they sell apparently really good fish and chips. So we'll let you know what we think about it, but I think it's gonna be yummy. And just the view and this whole style of the building is pretty cool. Chloe's starving, let's go.
this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The sunset! <laughs> it's apparently one of the best sunsets in all of New Zealand. Thanks so much for watching our video. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for having us.